Hello, my name is Russ, uh, and I'd like to show you Trigger CMD. Um, it's a cloud service that allows you to uh, securely and remotely run your commands on your computer. Um, I say securely because um, if someone were to guess your password, all they could do is run the commands you've defined on your computers. Uh, they can't, you know, define their own commands because uh, you do that on the computer itself. Um, to to run the commands on your computers, you need a uh, sorry a uh, an agent installed, and you can install one of these types of agents. Um, within Linux, you've got uh, RPM, Deb, or a special Deb for Raspberry Pi um, that has no GUI, but it's compatible with the ARM CPU. Uh, so I won't spend the time to download it because I've already done that. Uh, whoops, Let's see here. Just install it. And while it installs, I'll log in. Uh, because we we need the uh, token to log the agent in, and you get the token from um, the instructions page. Once that comes up, I'll paste the token in and click sign in. And now we have a new icon in the tray. Um, this top option just opens the website. Um, this installs or removes the background service, which I'll explain in a minute. Um, the the command editor is just Notepad and Windows. And I mentioned the uh, background service a minute ago. Uh, one of the fields on each of your commands is uh, the ground field, which is either background or foreground. Um, if it's background, it runs in the Windows service. Uh, if it's foreground, it just runs uh, in the in the foreground. Um, so trigger is just the the name of your trigger. Command is the actual command. I uh, just explained background um, or ground, whatever. Uh, voice. What that is is if you install the Alexa skill called Trigger CMD, you can um, tell Alexa to reboot your computer or you know run calculator on it or whatever by saying uh, Alexa open trigger CMD and then and then you say um, run calculator on office or whatever you call the uh, whatever you make the voice trigger for your office computer um, you know now that I've installed the agent I see the uh, computer show up this is my computer name it's not very descriptive but it means downstairs you know, make it more descriptive down downstairs computer um, now this field is for Alexa again it's the voice trigger so I'm gonna give it um, downstairs and it shows up right there um, if I view my triggers you can also view the voice trigger names um, now if I click trigger you'll see that it runs calculator or Notepad, um, but you do. But you also notice it does. It only shows two commands, and I had three, uh, and that's because I haven't installed the background service till now. Um, it takes a I don't know, maybe a few seconds to install, but if I refresh a couple times, it'll show up. Um, and there it is. That's my background command, which I will not trigger right now because it'll end my demo. Um, Alexa, tell Trigger CMD to run Calculator on Downstairs. Triggering Calculator on Downstairs. Alexa, open Trigger CMD. Say something like, run Calculator on Office PC. Notepad. Triggering Notepad on Downstairs. Now, notice I didn't say run Notepad on Downstairs. That's because I made uh, I made downstairs my default PC by typing that in here under de you know default computer, not PC necessarily. That's it. So here I'll show you that I can uh, open my garage door by pressing a button, the trigger button. I mean, um, yeah. Okay.
So, um, you'll notice too, this is not related to uh, smart, or sorry, this is not related to Trigger CMD, but I've got this little device to tell my smart things, uh, Samsung smart things system, uh, whether my door is open or not. So you can also see, I can now open my wife's door to, um, just by pressing her button. Oop. Her opener doesn't work the same. Oh. Gotta wait till it goes all the way. That's it.